welcome back to Brand of Adventures. So in today's video, I have yet again another DIY. And today I'm doing it in my room because why not? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an acrylic pour painting. So basically all you need for this DIY is a canvas. And this is like not an actual canvas. I actually DIY'd this canvas as well. If you don't have a canvas, you can just make one. And I'll link the video up in the i card, I think it's over here, um, of my DIY canvas video, so you can always follow that. You're also going to need a cup for the paint to pour in, so I have this tiny little cup here. Depending on your canvas size, you're going to need a bigger cup or a smaller cup. I have a pretty small canvas, so I'm not going to need that big of a cup. And you're also going to need some paint in your desired colors. I, that's really it. This is a super simple DIY. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right on into it. So the it. first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, pick out your colors of paint. And then you want to start pouring them into this cup that you have. So this, you want to think backwards about this. So basically, the color that you pour in first is going to be the color that is facing out once you pour it onto your canvas if that makes any sense so that will be the color on top and then the last color you pour in will be the color on the bottom of the canvas if that makes any sense at all so I'm gonna start off by pouring this beige color first and you don't really um, need to measure the amount just pour in a pretty good amount Alright guys, so now once you have poured all of your paints into your cup, it should look something like this. The colors should not be mixed, so make sure you do not mix them or else it'll kind of become a little ruined. But now I want to go ahead and basically just pour um, all of my paint onto my canvas and just pray that it turns out good. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. And now once all of your paint is on your canvas, you're just going to go ahead and tilt it around, kind of just let the paint do its thing. You can of course always add in some other colors as well, so if your paint isn't like going to all the corners of your canvas, um, you can just add in whatever colors you would like. So I'm going to add a little bit more red, I think. Okay guys, so it is actually the next day and I ended up finishing my painting here. So this is what it looks like. Um, I think I'm going to add this like pipe cleaner border as like a frame almost because I've never tried that before and I just want to try it out because I think it'll look pretty cool. But this is the actual painting and I really really love how it turned out. I think the colors are super bright and it just looks super nice. And like I said, I did add some more paint around the edges, but you can't really tell, so I'm really happy about that. And another thing I used was a toothpick, so if you have a toothpick or something like that, like a pencil maybe, I definitely suggest going through the paint, and if some of the paint you add isn't like mixed in, you can mix it in a little bit with the toothpick. And yeah, so this is it. I know this was a super, super short video, and I'm sorry it was so short, but that is pretty much it for the DIY. I think for this I'm gonna end up adding like some words on top of it um, or like an inspirational message or something like that. But this is the basic painting and now all you have to do is hang it up. So yeah guys, I really really hope you enjoyed this quick little DIY. It is super super um, quick and easy and I think it'll just look amazing like in a room instead of having to buy a painting you can easily make it with just some acrylic paint and pouring it all over a canvas. You don't even need an actual canvas. You could literally make your own. And this one is pretty durable. Like, it's really hard to bend, especially with the paint on it as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel to see more fun videos like this one. And once you've done that, click that little notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. And you can comment down below any video suggestions or anything you want. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>